Hello there, people. This is Silver Leafy on 9055, and I'm back with another video. Today, we'll be showcasing my Keldia deck profile for the 2016 ban list. I mean, 2017 ban list. So, let's get into this. So, first off, I'm running for Keldia PX. And for those of you that don't know what this thing does, uh, it's ability Russian. Once per during your turn before you attack, with Pokemon's on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon out for your active. So you can use this. And let's say you, you had a Pokemon like Blastoise, who has a lot of retreat costs, you want to switch out, or you can switch this in for it. And then on top of that, you got its Secret Sword attack, which does 20 more damage for each water type energy attached to it, plus 50. So. You can do a lot of damage once you get a lot of energy onto it. And I'm running four of those. Next, I'm going to show my run ups my Glaceon EX, my Vaporeon, and my Mana Fee, which are basically the three support cards I have for it. Especially my Mana Fee X. My Mana Fee X is ability for each of my Pokemon has a water type energy onto it. It has no retreat cost. So, like, any Pokemon that has a water type energy on it, that never retreat cost at all, which is pretty sweet. Because the whole deck is water one, and two, I'll be using water energy only for this deck. And then it's attack, mineral pump. If I was to have this thing out, then it heal 30 damage from each one of my dish Pokemon, which also helped out my Vaporeon EX. Because it's deep squall attack, it does 130 damage minus 10 damage for each damage counter on it. So if I had damage counters on it, then I could probably switch out that Pokemon. And then send in Manaphy AX, and then use Mineral Pump for a while, have it out there, and then get HP on Pokemon, which is really good. And then, on top of that, I have my Glaceon EX right here. So, and it's attack second bite, so that attack lets do 10 more damage for each damage counter of opponent's Pokemon, plus 20. So... If your opponent has a lot of damage counters on them, then this attack will do 10 more damage for each one, plus 20, so it does a lot of damage. And then its second attack, Crystal Ray, does 70 damage, so it's basically just like Jolteon. It's because Jolteon's Crystal, oh, it's not Crystal Ray, but uh, its attack that does 70 damage. Instead of it being Evolution Pokemon like Glaceon's, for Jolteon, it'd be for basic Pokemon. So each basic Pokemon would not be able to attack uh, next turn. But for Glaceon EX, then for during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon from by attacks from Evolution Pokemon. So if they had like a great like Evolution Pokemon out here, like let's say Mega Charizard or whatever, whatever, they would have had no damage on this. And these are my support cards right here. Next up, I'm running two Articuno with the uh, uh, Triangle Plus ability, which is basically when this Pokemon knocks out another Pokemon, then I get to take one more prize card. So I get two prize cards off of this if I just knock out a regular Pokemon. And if I knock out um, like an EX or Mega, then I get three. So that's half my prize cards already. And there's pretty, some pretty nasty combos with this that you can use. Next, I'm running three Squirtles, and their ability will attach Shell Shield. As long as Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attack, so this thing can't be really hurt by spread damage, which is really good because you're going to need to use these for your Blastoise, who you want to keep on your bench, which also leads into my two War Turtle that I have. Next up, Last but not least, the two Blastoise and their abilities would be Deluge. And as often as I like during the turn before I attack, I mean attach one water energy card from my hand to one of my Pokemon. So when well, this thing's on my bench, I can pretty much attach as much water energy to any of my Pokemon as I want. So it's a pretty sweet card. But I can only do it once per turn. Well if I have two out, then I can do this two times per turn. So it's pretty sweet.
Next, I have one Rumor Raid and an Octory. Octory is really just to get back in my hand, because the once during my turn, before I attack, I may draw cards to have five cards in my hand. So if I have this thing on my bench, then boom, I get five cards in my hand, and I can deal with the turn. And then Lapras. Lapras is basically there for the call for family, so I get two two basic Pokemon and two on my bench, and shuffle my deck afterwards, so it helps get my Squirtle out faster. So then I can get my War Turtle and Blastoise. That's pretty much all we have for our Pokemon. And then I'm running only water type energy right now, and I'm not running any double colors currently. I might put some, I'm gonna probably put some double colors in this deck so I can speed up how much I can use Secret Sword. But I'm running 16 water energy right now. And then for stadiums, I'm running two rough seas. And for those who do not know what rough seas does, once a uh, player during each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from each of their water or electric type Pokemon. So if I was to make a water and electric type deck out of this, then I could heal 30 damage from it. But I'm only running water, but that helps too because it's watered rough seas. So, and I'm only running two of those right now. Next up for supporters. I'm running 2N, and for those of you who don't know what N is for, really, it's just to shuffle your hand to your deck if you have a really bad hand and you have a lot of prize cards. Or if your opponent only has one prize card left, you can use this N to your advantage, get rid of their whole entire hand, and they only have one card left, so they'll have to be going off of top decks, which really doesn't help them that much unless they get to draw the lucky card. But it can help stall if you're like losing or you're in a tight spot until you can get what you need. I'm running two of those. Then I'm running one Bianca, one Professor Oak's new theory. Uh, which these two cards are basically for draw power. Bianca, I get to draw cards to have six into my hand. And then Professor Oak's new theory, I just shuffle my hand to my deck. So if I get a bad hand, then I just shuffle that hand to my deck and just draw six cards. And I'm running one of those. And then I'm running one teammates, which I can only play this if one of my Pokemon was knocked out during my opponent's last turn. I can search my deck up to two cards and put them into my hand. Shuffle my deck afterwards. So I could like literally, like if I had a Pokemon I didn't want, like Lapras out. And then I could let that get fainted after my teammates and then add two cards to my hand that I need. It's a pretty sweet card. I'm only running one of it currently, but I might switch it out for Bianca soon. Then I'm running Trino and Sharon, which both do the same thing. They draw three cards for me. Uh, Archie's Ace in the Hole. I can play this card only if it's the last card in my hand. And I get to put a water Pokemon for my discard pile onto my bench. And then I get to draw five cards, which is pretty sweet. Then I'm running one Lysandre, one Fisherman, which puts basically four basic energy cards from my discard pile into my hand, which I'm going to need to power up my Kelios. One Professor Sycamore, discard like probably a bad hand, and then draw seven cards. One Shauna, which shuffles my hand to my deck and then draw five cards. One Misty's Determination, which discards the card from my hand, and if I do, look at the top eight cards from my deck and put one into my hand, and then shuffle the other cards back into my deck. Then I'm playing one Paul Morris Contribution, so I get to search my discard pile for up to five in any combination of Pokemon basic energy cards, show them to my opponent, and then shuffle into my deck. So that can help increase decks, just in case the battle goes on long, and you're about to run out of cards, you can just increase your deck size a little. And that's basically all my supporters. Last but not least, we're going on into our items. And I have two rare candies, and those I'm using to evolve my two war turtles into Blastoise. I can only use one of them once per turn, though, because it counts as evolving. You can only evolve once per turn. But those are basically so I can quick evolve my Pokemon from my deck, which is what I need to do. Then I'm running two Dive Ball, which is basically just the, what you call it, Ultra Ball or Level Ball, but for Water-type Pokemon. And I get to search my deck for any Water-type Pokemon, by the way. Reveal it, put it into my hand, and then chuck my deck afterwards. So there's no, like... HP limit or anything like that that you need to use. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm running one escape rope, so I can switch from my active Pokemon with one of my bench Pokemon, and then my opponent has to switch first. And if I don't have a bench Pokemon, I don't have to switch. 
So let's say they have a bench Pokemon that you want to get out, and they only have one there. And then you have like one of your strong Pokemon out. You can use this card to your advantage, make them force them to switch. It's pretty sweet. Then I have Pokemon Communication, so if I have a Pokemon that I don't need in my hand, I can use this, get it put in my deck, and then search for the Pokemon I want. Then I have one Eva Soda, just more evolution, just because I need to do that. Professor's Letter, add energy to my hand, two of them. One Float Stone, just in case I don't get my Kelly EX or anything out, and I have a like, Blastoise who I don't want out there. And there, then I just use Float Stone so I can switch them out. One Verse Seeker, which just puts a supporter card from my discard pile into my hand. And then a supporter, Superior Energy Revival, which I discard two cards from my hand. And then I get to put four basic energy cards in, from my discard pile into my hand. And I can't choose the card I discard with the effect this way, though. And you have to discard two cards in order to use that card, by the way. So you can't just use it. Well, that's pretty much it for my whole entire Keldeo EX profile. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below to see what other Pokemon deck profiles you want to see. This is Silver Leafy on 9055, and I'm logging out. Peace.